And that's doing exactly what I want, where you're saying it. I didn't change anything about the swing. It's starting a little bit left and coming back right. All right, we are here at Palo Alto Hills Country Club. Palo Alto is, uh, we're in your town. We are in my neck of the woods. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about your golf life in 2023 with the Paradigm Driver. It was good. You had a nice year. So you won, you won your major, we'll call it your major. Absolutely. Your, your big one. So talk to me about your relationship with the Paradigm Driver. Because I got something better, but I just want to talk about I, the past. For I know there's always something that you got up your sleeve in yeah. terms of the new tech, but the Paradigm was a game changer for me. Uh, just confidence to keep the ball in play. Obviously, I can hit it a decent ways. Yeah, you get it out there. Just trying to keep the uh, dispersion in and be able to find it. And that's what happened this summer. Uh, I hit a, a whole lot more drivers in my major than I ever have. Yeah. And uh, it obviously paid off. So okay. I like the ball fly. I like the sound. You got the specs right from our last fitting. And mm -hmm. it's confidence from there. So okay. I took it to the course. So we'll call it a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 oh, out of 10 100. Here. A 10 out of 10 and a trophy. Okay. So you're ready to see the new one? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to present to you Paradigm AI Smoke. The smoke. So that's the max. It's my head. first time saying this for real, for real. So I'm gonna and go I'm, through the. I'm gonna go through the shop talk really quick. Hey. We have the AI Smart Face. So what they did was they took over 250,000 golf swings from real players, not robots, not somebody at like players, humans, yeah. and fed all that data into the supercomputer and came up with the AI Smart Face. So essentially, what this thing does is it's built to combat or mitigate the miss of every golfer out there from John Rahm to Del Curry to Seth to Steph to everybody, right? Del Curry doesn't have many driver misses, but okay. everybody else, yes. Yusuf, everybody, <laughs> okay? So the face itself is the smartest face that we've ever created, and it was so good that we were able to actually take out the jailbreak, which has been the pillar of Callaway drivers for yeah, a long time, yeah, right? years. So what you're gonna get out of this is ball speed across the face, forgiveness and spin retention across the face, and even better for you, you liked the dispersion mm -hmm. should be tighter dispersion. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you really quickly. So that's the max yeah, it head. It looks beautiful. That's gonna be your fastball down the middle for most yes. of the players. And then this would be what you played last year, which is the triple, triple diamond. Triple diamond, yep. And I tried to get him to do the the, the triple and then one diamond, but he wouldn't do it. <laughs> they were, yeah. We gotta keep working on it. Yeah, so we're gonna build them up, but I'm gonna have you hit your gamer first while I'm building them up just to All get right. the baseline. Let's do it. Okay. So we got GC quad. Those you can't beautiful. do a true test without GC quad. We got some new golf balls we're going to talk about later, but you're going to hit something close to what you have now. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we're just Going going to have some fun. So right. you have Ventus, even though it's a black shaft, you have a Ventus Red 7X TR, all Steph Curried out. What he said, that's what I have. Yes. Paradigm Triple Diamond 9 at plus one. Yes. Okay. Steph hits kind of a cutter. So, when I'm dialed in, that's where it's supposed to be going. Yep. A little left to right action. So we're going to start you off there. I want you to hit five, just stock shots. I'm going to get a baseline on the numbers, and we'll go from there. Is that in the, is that in the box? Yep. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Well, one for one. That's that freaking mashed. beautiful. Do me a favor. If you miss it a little bit, call it out and tell me where you miss it on the face, okay? Okay. okay. I feel like that was a little healy. Okay, yep, and the, the, the numbers show us that. Launched a little bit lower, spin one up. So you're an interesting guy to watch hit balls because typically when you're humming, your launch stays, you know, 10 launch for you is kind of high. Yeah. Like when you're yeah. cruising, you're like eight, nine, and you like to see it kind of out of that window, right? Okay. So hit three more for me. We'll take the best three. That was absolutely that was crushed. Absolutely mashed. Your ball speed, your ball speed went up five, five and a half miles an hour. So that was uh, 176 and a half, 315 carry at 2100 spin at 10 launch. So remember we talked about last year. If you watched the last video, last, last year's video was a banger, but 10 launch at 2100 spin is real fun for this. It's not fun on the golf course unless you hit it out in front of you right balls out of your hand if there's not enough spin okay so we're going to pay attention to that because you like to hit it you get super geeked out when you hit it far that part okay <laughs> and that was like the little healy but it, it launched a little higher than the last one that i hit off the heel that was awesome numbers on that were really good 
Okay, so that's, so those are, I would call those like Rombo numbers. 12 launch, 2300 spin, 2400 spin roughly at 177 ball speed, okay? So, so far, you like the shape, you hit four out of five, Four out of good. five, yeah. Four out of five were like the right launch angle that I like. Heel strike on two of them, and two are just absolutely perfect. Okay, so this is a cool thing to look at. Your standard deviation, whether you call like a delta, 377 RPMs in spin. So that's a great, a great driver for you. So what I would like to see you get out of this is a little more, more ball speed. Yeah, yeah. And then out of that heel miss, that heel miss that you had went up to 3100 spin. So if we can find a face, smart face, it kicks that spin down two or 300 RPMs, you're gonna get even more out of that, out of that strike. I so like, let's try uh, the AI smoke. I like what you're telling me. Okay, let's try this. I'm just gonna put it in the standard weight configuration. We'll miss with that, mess with that in a little bit. This is a full service uh, fitting stuff. We're gonna do this the right way. Say what way. you just said about the weight. What'd... So you have your weights. You have like a 12, I believe a 12 gram, uh, gram weight in the back and I think a six gram weight up front. So you have okay. the weight built for like a higher MOI version oh, of the triple okay, diamond. Okay. Makes it more forgiving, it spins a little bit more. Now, you would love it if I moved the weight Flip forward because the ball, ball speeds would go up, the spin would go down and you hit nukes all day. But mm. we, wanna, we wanna win Tahoe again, right? That so part. We, we gotta keep the weights it. like that, yeah. I just love the look at that thing, look at that. Okay, that was that one. So that was heel for sure. Okay. I, the launch was way higher. Just yep. off of. It was way higher. Okay. Give me one more. Yeah. And... One more. Let's talk about the look really quick. So you like you like the look? What's the crown look like? The color colorway, all that stuff. What do you think? It's such a clean look. I mean, I like just the slate. I have the murdered out. Yeah. One now, so it's obviously a little different there, but. It gives you something to kind of get your eye fascinated on, but doesn't distract from, you know, me just trying to lock in on whatever shot I'm trying right. to hit and hit the ball. I like, I like to have a little fun with what I'm looking at. I don't like it to be just too boring. I like the top. And the, the contrast. Yeah, the see, that's why I like they did a good job on the yeah. kind of the top line there. Oh, that's so good. Well, I'll tell you this, man. That's so freaking good. So far, your ball speed's gone up three miles an hour, even on the one that you hit off the off the heel. And that was a 13-ish. Yeah, that's launching a little higher. So I want to fix something really quick. Let me make a couple of adjustments here. Let me see this thing. I'm actually going to put your shaft in. I don't know how much fun I'm having right now. This is how you. This is how every day should start. That's what Hanging I said. Hanging out with Johnny on the freaking. <laughs> T-box at the course, nerding out on some some, some gear. For okay. all six rounds I'm going to play during the season. <laughs> Getting ready for summer 2024 already. So we're hitting the triple diamonds. We're just going to go gamer to gamer, right? Mm -hmm. But the way that they made the standard head this year is last year you actually hit the head. It's called standard tour. It was that standard head that had the weight up front. They mimic that for the for like the the normal version now. Oh, so it's okay, more okay, of a okay. tour tour centric head. So what I'm actually curious to see with you is we're gonna hit a few more with this, but I'm actually curious to see how you hit that, especially if I move the weight that back weight around. Back, I got gotcha. Yeah. So we could have some fun with that one. Let me just move these weights. Around. Act like I know what I'm looking at when I look at the iPad. Just nod my head and yeah. They're all pretty good. Looks good. Yeah, I like that number. Looks good. There you go. We're gonna neutralize the head a little bit. So I think you might do well with a more balanced head as opposed to extreme weight back and front, you know, like, you know, extreme weight back and extreme weight forward. Uh huh. I think what this is gonna do is clean up the strike a little bit. And I'm actually gonna put this, take it from plus one and put it in stand, just neutral standard. Okay. So the reason why you would put it in plus one is because you hit a cut and you want it to start left, right? I think what we're what plus I'm one opens noticing it up, is that it opens it up a little bit, right? No, it closes it. Closes it. So yeah. it starts left to come back right. Gotcha, right. gotcha, gotcha. So what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna put it on with the like this. It's gonna look a little funny because the, the shaft and your grip's gonna be turned around. That's fine. But you didn't have the you didn't have it lined up correctly. Yeah. Which is fine. 
So this is just neutral standard with pretty neutral weighting. And I think not only are we gonna neutralize the strike, I think you actually might launch it a little lower. So your miss hits will launch a little lower, which is what we want. So I want you to just kind of feel like, once again, stock swing, nothing snooty, and just bang it out there. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. How was that for strike? Out that was pretty, yeah. Okay, like nine and a half out of 10? Yeah. Okay, let's hit two more. So that came out way lower. That was came out way lower, but ten. -ish. So, not, so like you know, ten at twenty three hundred, roughly, is yeah. right on the razor's edge. But now I know so that's going to carry his flight, though, right? It's a good flight if you get out in front of you. But yeah. I, now I know if I move a little bit of weight back, I'm going to kick the spin up a little bit. So I now at least I know I got the launch there. Got you. Okay. Oh yeah, my dude. god, that's so yeah, freaking good. Yep, we're in business here. And that's doing exactly what I want. Where you're saying it's. I didn't yeah, change dude. anything about the swing. It's starting a little bit left and coming back right. Rombo numbers, 178, 11 and a half at 2300. You do that all the time. Like forget Tahoe. Like you're, yeah. it's a corn. Those are like corn fairy. Don't you get me started, Johnny? Don't you? I'm do trying that. to. I'm trying to gas you up for <laughs> for a comeback. Now we're gonna be in Paradigm AI Smoke Max. Remember I mentioned before it's kind of like a tour design without weight forward. Yes, sir. So. I am giving you this, obviously, because I want you to hit it for feedback, but I want to see if there's a way that I can get, because your misses tend to launch a little low. Yes. Right? They come out like eight and a half, and they either go way up and spin, or they dip down and spin. I want to see if there's a version of this combo where your miss hits might kick up and launch a little bit and tighten the spin a little bit. I don't know if it'll happen. This, it's, this one's kind of a guess, but we're going to try it. All right. Because that's what we do. And this, the weight on, the, on this one has a slider weight, right? Yeah. So, it, so I can make that thing really fade bias, which we can do for fun. Or I can make it go dead left. <laughs> Either or. Either or. And everywhere, and everywhere in between. Dead left. Yeah. Ew. How'd that feel? I feel pretty good. I, I pulled that one to start it a little left of target, but it was a dead straight ball flight. Okay, which this one will self-correct a little bit more than the triple diamond will. Okay. So whenever you look at a... AI smart face, AI that's smart why. Face. Yes, so whenever you see a, a driver shape, like triple diamond would be, you know, vertically... Stacked, yeah. Deep, right, it's deep face. So the shorter, the higher the toe, the shorter the head, the more that the head wants to go like that, right? The more play there is in the head. When you get a long heel to toe, it doesn't want to rotate as fast. But for some players, that makes that easier to turn over, oddly mm -hmm. enough. With irons, it's the opposite. It's easier to fade. But with a driver, it's actually easier to turn over when it's like that, because the weight, the head wants to it kick around. Wants to kick, kick, kick over, and you yeah. have to do stuff to counter that. Yeah. So you, you should hit this one slightly straighter than the other one. Ew. Well, you got me dialed in right now. I don't yeah. care. You're kind of hitting them all good what right now. What driver head you get? All right, hit one more, and I'm going to move that weight. Because you're hitting this one just straight. Yeah. Just high and straight. 11 launch for you is like, that's sky high. <laughs> that's me looking down here. Yeah. 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 Where is it? That's like Vince Carter in the Olympics on that guy. That part. He jumped over him. And then he almost took out Kevin Garnett on a, on a celebration. <laughs> that's the truth. Okay. Okay. Well, you hit this one good. Like, probably send this home. This might be like your Sunday driver. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to do one for thing the cash on this head. Because this is fun. We're in a rabbit hole. We're just going to keep going down it. I'm going to do a couple things to this thing. I want to see if there's a version of this head. I'm going to take a degree of loft off it. Okay. I'm going to make it really fade biased. Really? Okay. Like, super duper fade biased just to see what happens. What do you predict that'll do to the spin? I think it's gonna kick it down. But this is for fun. This, yeah, is, for, this is you and I, this is you and I nerding out here. Do you do that same routine? You do the same pregame routine. It's the same cadence, same everything, right? When you're uh, shooting on the threes. Court? Yeah. It, I've 
edited it just a little bit since I've, uh, like my 10th year in the league, just, I used to do probably like five minutes more right. of shots, but all five spots and then the mid-range stuff and then shoot threes at the end. So like what you saw was, I do that every game. I'm hoping you just hit just absolute power bullets with this, but we'll see. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Hit one more of those. Dude, those are cool numbers. Nice. 12 launch at 2200. 12 launch at 2200. 176. But look at like this is this is the cool. So for people like he hits it really like he hits it his <laughs> path like his pull left to right. Like we're talking about a degree here, a degree there. Like it's it's like you hit it really good, which is infuriating because you're also the best <laughs> basketball player in the world. So it's like the whole thing's annoying. And that was a quick pull. Okay. All right, we're gonna leave this alone. Let's go back to this one. I'm gonna get this one super dialed. And oddly enough, I'm gonna change shafts on you. The pool. So, like you, what you'll see a lot on tour, and I watch Kellen Watson, who's our guy that fits Rom and Xander and all those guys, is you have to, especially with good players, you have to kind of poke and prod them a little bit to see what their what their feels are, right. like where they respond to. So, you have like um, what I would call equipment sensitivity. Whether you can articulate it or not doesn't matter. You just know where the club needs to be at a certain point. So the fun thing with you is I can, it's actually easier for a fitter, I can hand you the wrong thing mm -hmm. and you'll try to adapt to it because you're a good athlete, you'll try to figure it out. But if you haven't figured it out in three swings, it's just wrong. You know it's and I could take it out of your hands and be like, all right, screw it, this isn't gonna work. All right, lock and load, baby. Let's hit three more to end this video. And so far we've gotten you three miles an hour of ball speed. Your spin delta is 100 RPMs tighter. All great things. All good things. So we made you a little longer and a little straighter. So like that one right there, I'd I love that in, in action. Uh, on, on course, where if that's the miss and it's just a slight pull, but yeah, it stays straight like that. But look at the ball. Look. Like, dude, <laughs> and the only reason it, the, the spin went down is because it was a slight pull. Yeah. But it did, it, but you see that number is 2109. Yep. It's not 1800. So like you love to play, I think you went back to X, but you love to play that LS ball, but you I liked know. it because ball go far. Yeah. But that's, the, that's that, with that ball, that ball's going at 1800 RPMs. X was the difference in Tahoe yeah. too. That was, That's yeah. why you need spin. X got it done. It doesn't yeah, get much done. better than that. It does not get much better than We're that. Done. Year two, that's a wrap. Oh my God. 180, baby. Woo! <laughs> we got there. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> so it's always cool for these videos when uh, it really works out. So the numbers don't lie. Versus Paradigm, which he won a major with, here major with. <laughs> I'm just spitballing the numbers here. You got three and a half miles an hour faster on average. You got six more yards of carry and your spin delta got about 100 RPMs tighter. So I just made you longer, check, straighter. Check, 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 And essentially the same setup you had before just with a new head. New head. Yeah. Freaking A. Appreciate you, brother. Way to go. Yes, sir. Uh, if you have any more questions on AI Smoke or Steph Curry's, uh, go we got a bunch of pictures of your golf bag on my website. Yes, we do. World of Wonder website, CallawayGolf.com. That's what new driver fittings are supposed to look like. So I'm very happy man today. I want to thank Steph for having us over to Palo Alto. Uh, that's a wrap. We're done. We're out of here.